Uh, welcome once again to my YouTube channel, here so on the Excel International Math by Mr. Kamoto. And today I want as we understand example 2 of pure mathematics for topic number 5, differentiation. And we are still dealing with parametric differentiation. And we understood that if functions are given parametrically, you do not need to convert them to uh, Cartesian form. You can differentiate them and manipulate them to get the gradient of the curve. Now, I would wish to explain this example to page 51. Find the equation of the normal of the normal at the point P where theta is pi over 6 to the curve with parametric equations x is equals to 3 sine theta and y is equals to 5 cos sine theta. The word is find the equation of the normal at the point P where theta is pi over 6 to the curve with parametric equation given here. So the normal to anything is the line that is perpendicular to the original line. So we have the property of the products of the gradient giving us negative 1 there. So as much as we would want to calculate the gradient of the curve at the point P, which we must do, and because the parametric equations are here, so we must talk about dx d theta, which is 3 cosine theta. Because the differential of the sine theta is the cosine of theta. You must remember that dy d theta is, because the differential of cosine theta is negative, sine theta, so we have minus 5 sine theta. Both are the two differentials. Uh, of course, we need to understand one thing that we are looking for dy dx. So in this case, our dy dx becomes dy d theta times d theta dx, which is basically minus 5 sine theta all over 3 cosine theta. Remember this theta dx is 1 over 3 cos theta because dx d theta is just that. Let us, it's simply a reciprocal of uh, of what we had uh, but at p we are told that theta is pi over 6 so we must substitute here and talk about dy dx is going to be minus 5 sine pi over 6 all over 3 the cosine of pi over 6 because theta is just that pi over 6 in both cases. And what is sine pi over 6? If, if, we, may, if we may set um, our calculator in radian form, what is the sine of uh, uh, pi over, over 6? If we may talk about that, this is simply going to be a half. So, we are going to have minus 5 times a half all over uh, the cosine of pi over 6. The cosine of pi over 6, uh, literally this is root 3 over 2. So if it is root 3 over 2, so we must talk about 3 times root 3 over 2. Uh, times root 3 over 2. And uh, fine. Um, if we evaluate this, we are going to find um, uh, something that looks like 
something that looks like of course this half and a half we will cancel out we have fine minus 5 over 3 root 3 I want you to evaluate that and find out how I arrived at this one basically what I did is um, is, is I got I got um, uh, I, I got let's talk about five times a half five or five over three divided by um, uh, three root three over two which is the same as which if I took that there is going to be it's going to be minus five over two uh, dividing means times 2 over 3 root 3 and we can see 2 2 cancels out and we get minus 5 over 3 root 3 basically to get there that is exactly what I did basically to get there I've said when we are having 5 over 2 divided by 3 root 3 over 2 it's the same as uh, minus 5 over 2 times the reciprocal of this which is 2 over 3 root 3 so times 2 over root 3 over uh, root 3 uh, 3 root 3 and these two and these two will cancel out and I'm left with minus 5 over 3 root 3 which is exactly what I brought there I had omitted that step but it's good to it's good to talk about it incidentally the gradient of um, the gradient of the normal this is now the gradient this is now the gradient of the curve which is minus 5 over 3 root 3 so the gradient of normal the gradient of normal is going to be uh, the reciprocal of this of course uh, free from the negative 3 root 3 over 5 because the product has to be negative 1 uh, <clears throat> and of course at P um, if this is true um, at point P X is equals to uh, 3 sine theta and sine pi over 6 is a half at P x is equals to 3 sine uh, pi over 6 and if we talk about sine uh, pi over 6 we get to understand exactly what we're talking about is a half so this is 3 over 2 and y itself and uh, you can talk about at the same point p y is equals to 5 cos pi over 6 and we know the cosine of uh, pi the cosine of pi over 6 is something that is familiar with us which is which is 5 root 3 over 2 that is the value of of, of y having said that um, we would the equation of the normal now the equation of the normal the equation the equation of the normal we know is going to be uh, y minus the already existing value of y 5 root 3 over 2 is equals to now the gradient which is 3 root 3 over 5 multiplied by x minus already the value of x that we are having 3 over 2 and when we uh, when we have when when we have that we can easily talk about um, we can easily talk about uh we, we, we can is this is five root three over over two so 
Once we evaluate this, we are going to have y minus 5 root 3 over 2 is equals to uh, 3 root 3 over 5 x minus 9 root 3 over 10. 9 root 3 over 10. We have just opened that bracket. We, we have simply opened that bracket so so to speak and 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 therefore <clears throat> we may wish now to um, we may wish now to clean up this a little bit and you're going to have um, y is equals to 3 root 3 over 5 x minus <clears throat> 9 root 3 over 10 plus 5 root 3 over 2. Of course, you can talk about uh, the LCM of these two parts. The LCM of these two parts, which is 10, if I may want to work it out here, just this part. And I'm going to have the LCM 10, and we're going to have 10 divided by 10, 1. So we have minus 9 root 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 5 is <clears throat> plus 25 root 3. So 25 minus 9, 25 minus 9, it's basically 16. So we are going to have y is equals to 3 root 3 over 5x uh, plus 16. Um, 16 root 3 out of 10. So this one can be divided by 2, which is going to give us y is equal 3 root 3 over 5, x plus 8 root 3 over 5. So multiplying everything by 5, we may leave it that way, but we may, we may want to multiply everything by 10 and have something to do with 5y is equals to 3 root 3x, of course, plus 8 root 3. And this happens to be now the equation of the normal. Please note what we have done. We have just um, followed the normal procedure of the product of the two perpendicular lines being negative 1. And we have also followed the natural way of finding the equation of a straight line, whereby we have change in y or change in x as the gradient, and we have been able to find the equation of the normal. So again, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us work together and share widely. All right.